This is what Gulu administration looks like. Before getting started, it's necessary to set the language of the spinning article. By now, Gulu has more than 10 languages available. When switching off the spinner, Gulu will only insert a localization tag into the article without spinning it. It's also possible to set a preference as to whether the title of the article should be spun or not. For some articles, it might be better to spin the title manually. Set up the number of articles to be processed. It's possible to spin up to 10 articles from one source. There are a few options for Google localization. If it's not set up, Gulu will work just like a regular spinner and localization tags will not be inserted into any article. Another option is to use localization in U.S. cities because it's possible to choose the state and city and add it into the list. When setting this up, you can add 10 cities for each spinning. So in this case, each of the 10 processed articles will have a different localization tag. Another option is to add a custom city. In this case, any address in the world can be added provided Google will recognize it correctly. It's possible to add up to 10 business addresses, which might represent branches or offices of your business around the city, state, or worldwide. In order to increase the trust of website visitors and Google too, it's recommended that you write the full name of every business or company and other relevant information, like email contact, telephone numbers, opening hours, and so on. It's then necessary to paste the title and body of the original article, and, with the special bonus that will give you with this purchase, it can be curated and taken from the internet or written by someone else entirely. The sample website is about diet, so here's an article about diets. In order for your website to look well established, there should be a few articles backdated. Here, it's possible to set any time interval and the generated articles would be randomly published between that day and today. For today's presentation, I'll backdate articles by one month. The final step is to decide about the output format. In this instance, a CSV file is perfect for a WordPress website and can be edited in Excel. For other types of websites, XML format might be more useful. Here's the result. As you can see, the file has been automatically stored in the download folder. Now, go to WordPress administration. Here we have already installed the upload plugin, a feature that you will get with your purchase. Now, you just need to find the plugin and upload a spun CSV file. Now look at what we've got in regard to the website. Now we can search the most recent articles. Here is one of the spun articles. As you can see at the end of the article, there is a business contact with other relevant information, such as the business address and its location on Google Maps. This is the information which Google will search when deciding to put your company to the first place of Google Local Search.